Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about Unified Communications Manager call detailed reporting or call detail report uh, analysis. Uh, there are some basic reporting tools inside of Unified Communications Manager, but a lot of times what we see is uh, folks will use a third party tool that's specifically designed for the type of information that they want. Uh, it'll report on billing, present graphs, uh, you know, set up chargebacks or, or things of that nature. Uh, in this case, Unified Communications Manager has the raw data, but it doesn't necessarily do a lot in terms of, you know, assembling a bill or assembling uh, a nice pretty report or that type of thing. Uh, however, it is very important to know the specific way in which Unified Communications Manager does capture the data so that you can then uh, access it and report on it later. Let's take a look at some of the basic reporting functionality that is baked in uh, and see if some of this isn't helpful to you as far as uh, you know basic usage. You'll come into the screen that looks like this. There's user reports, system reports, device reports. There's the CDR tab here as well and there's some settings uh, and configuration. Ultimately a help tab if you need some assistance. User reports, these are going to be based on a very specific entity, either a user or uh, a number of specifics. Um, so for instance, a top end report will be by, let's use by duration as an example. We can just see the, the maximum utilization. We can check on net, international, uh, incoming, local, so on and so forth. Uh, we can look by individual users, we can look by destinations, so a number or a SIP URI destination, generate a new report, number of records total, so if we wanted to say the top five or top ten, uh, I'm actually going to prune this back to be just today. We have the option as a CVS, or I'm sorry, a CSV or a PDF. We can send this report via email if we wanted. It'll pop up with a email screen. You can type a message in this field. Uh, the report will be attached. Let's cancel that. And let's view the report as a PDF. It will come up. It will show our destinations. Uh, these are all destinations on my system. I use E164 directory numbers. And of course, in respect to that, they're classified as internal. Number of calls total. Again, billing is not set up, so there's no charge. And there is a duration listed in seconds. To go back and come to the bottom here and click back. And I'm taken back to the screen I was at prior. Let's take a look at CDR specifically. Uh, you can report on specifics. So let's pick on a user phone number or SIP URI we open this tab, we'll be greeted with this screen. Uh, I know that one of my numbers is plus one, seven, one, seven, uh, five, 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 one, two, three, four. I can add this number to the list of numbers, right? If I had multiple numbers I wanted to list here, I could do that. We can remove one specifically by hitting remove, or we can rem remove them all by hitting the remove all button. There's a couple notes on some wild cards here as well. Next, ensure you have the proper time zone selected. Uh, I'm going to pick on just today. However, I want to make sure I have it from the beginning of today. So I'm going to set these to zeros. And I'll hit OK. Take a second to return some results. You can see here the call records, there's internal call leg ID information, there's calling numbers information, destination number, and the last redirecting number. So if the call was actually transferred, uh, you can see that information as well. Let's pick on call number one here. If you hit view on the far right hand side, another window will pop up and this will have more extensive details. You can get information in this field like the IP address of the endpoint, there's the port, there's bandwidth, there is um, 
you know, different TS, uh, TCP and UDP information. Uh, the MOS score could be found in here. Uh, partition information. Also the device names. Uh, so very complete information about each individual call can be found in this screen. When you're done, click close or X out of that screen. Uh, more specifically, if you do want to come in and get CDR information for the entire system, you can come to the CDR export CDR information tab. And this is how we can actually gather CDR information for the entire system in raw format. So I'm going to select just today, I'm going to remove the CMR information, the call management record information. Click export to file. Take maybe a little bit of time to you know, put that all together. Uncheck that. The CDR dump is listed here. You want to right click on it and save the link as. This is kind of a little bit of a complaint I have about the system. You can't simply click and have it downloaded. Uh, we'll call it CDR data dot CSV and remove the format there to make it all file types. Click Save. Of course we're changing the extension so we'll use CSV. See that that's been downloaded and then we can open it up in our favorite CSV file viewer. As you can see there's a lot of information here you want to resize the columns to make sure you have that calling party information right, calling party, uh, Unicode login ID. So I have John Adams and George Washington. Uh, we're making a few calls on my system. I have, um, you know, again, numbers of uh, countless information here to, uh, you know, derive reports from and, and everything. So this is extensive information about the call, as you can see. Uh, there's some IP information. Uh, different port information. There's, there's, I mean, we're at column. What are we at? D S is the last column. So, uh, quite a few pieces of information. Again, this is the information that would be used by a call detailed record reporting software to build those pretty reports that you may use with your executive team. I'll close that. Don't save, uh, and we'll return back to the screen here couple last things to mention. There are device reports as well. So gateways, if you wanted to report on traffic through a specific gateway, you can get utilization information, summary information. You can also report on uh, route patterns and hunt pilots. So if you have a hunt group that rings through to multiple different users, say you have three users but you have a hunt pilot that outside customers call, you can actually report on that as well. Uh, so let's say it's a 1-800 number. Uh, you can see how many people call your 1-800 number rather than individually trying to get the information from each phone. You can see conference bridge utilization, voice messaging, and trunks, which uh, may in some cases be different than gateways. For instance, a SIP trunk rather than a PSTN, you know, PRI gateway. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Be sure to subscribe, and we hope to see you back here again soon. Thanks.